So I want to start with uh, a little bit with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And I've talked a lot about his background personally, professionally, the fact that the man has no medical experience, that he's a conspiracy theorist. And uh, I think he's a cuckoo. He's crazy. And I've been very open about that and, and serious about it. I mean, even when he did this show months ago, when he was still running for president of the United States, he basically admitted to committing a felony, giving his kids, uh, offering to give his kids fake vaccination cards. This is the guy that's going to be in this powerful position. But it gets worse than that because this is a really bizarre interview that he did that was found. Um, and I don't know, I find this a little strange, not that he was once addicted to heroin, but the way he talks about it. So I want you guys to have a listen to this. This is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, on a podcast uh, talking about how he was addicted to drugs and how it actually helped him in his life. Have a listen to this. I went to a party for an elder brother of a friend of mine who had just been drafted to go to Vietnam. I was hitchhiking home for that party and an older boy picked me up who I knew and he offered me some LSD and I had you know, never taken any kind of drug before. I wouldn't have taken it, but I had a, a real deep interest, intense interest in paleontology. And I said to that, this guy, I said, if I take this, will I see dinosaurs? And he said, you might. I was walking home and just before I got to my house, I saw some older boys in the woods. I went in there to see what they were doing, and I told them I was crashing on the acid, and they said, try some of this, and it was crystal meth, and I took a snort of it, and I felt great. And that really, that incident was the template for my addiction over the next 14 years. Within a month, I was shooting heroin, and that was my kind of drug of choice. Okay, so listen, he had a drug addiction issue and i feel for anybody out there that has right it's a disease uh, but i do find it a little weird and i would imagine some of you find it strange as well that a man who had a 14-year addiction to heroin is so against life-saving vaccines i find that very odd um he thinks that the vaccines are dangerous yet he talks about a 14-year addiction to heroin you know, he thinks that vaccines cause autis autism, which is obviously medically debunked. It's not true. He ch claims that children are subjected to an immunization schedule that includes 72 vaccines. That's false. Basically, almost everything he says about vaccines is false. Yet this is the guy that's gloating and in a way he was about heroin. I want and if you don't believe me, listen to this clip. Here's Robert F. Kennedy Jr. talking about he's been talking about how he was doing poorly in school. And then when he started to take heroin, it helped him in school. Have a listen to this. And I was at the bottom of my class. I started doing heroin. I went to the top of my class. Suddenly I could sit still and I could read. Suddenly I can sit still and I could read. So he's actually talking about the benefits of taking heroin. Ladies and gentlemen, there are no benefits to taking heroin. It is an addictive drug. It kills so many people every single year. I know that because of members of my family, that at least one person that I know of that has passed away from taking heroin. So this is problematic. It's also very odd that it doesn't seem like he talks a lot about heroin as being a negative, at least not in this interview, but as being a positive. Heroin helped him in school. Have you ever heard him talk about vaccines in any positive way? Have you ever heard him say, geez, you know, uh, you know, some vaccines I don't like, but, you know, there's plenty of vaccines that, that save lives and help people. You know, the COVID vaccines, they save millions of lives. No, you'll never hear him say that. It's always negative stuff about the vaccines. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because he's a kook, because he's crazy, because he's dangerous. And these are the kinds of people that Donald Trump invites not only into the White House for dinner, like, uh, like a known bigoted racist, like a Kanye West like an anti-Semite, like Nick Fuentes, but he actually gives jobs to people like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a quid pro quo. It was basically Kamala Harris wouldn't talk to him, so he went over to the Trump side. Hey, in case Trump wins, I'll hedge my bets. If Trump wins, then I'll be able to work in his administration. This was all about power for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He absolutely knows who Donald Trump is. Audio came out the other day saying that Donald Trump supporters are Nazis. So does that mean that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a Nazi? Because I guess he's a Donald Trump supporter now. So this is all nonsense. It's crazy. This is just my personal opinion. I don't want somebody that has a drug addiction that's been addicted to drugs for 14 years to be in charge of my health.
I'll tell you that right now. This guy's crazy. He's a lunatic. And everything he says about the vaccines are false. And then he starts speaking in positive terms about heroin and heroin uh, overdoses and all the people, the hundreds of thousands of people that die of heroin overdoses every year. Yet he's saying it helped him in school. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is an embarrassment and he's dangerous.